In this video, we're going to talk about the DC Super Nen. Devin Walsh's board of choice. He had a huge influence in designing this board, and you can see it. Whether it's the micro camber that it has or the shape. Yes, it is a board that I think a lot of people overlook when they're looking at a powder board, but this board doesn't suck. This is one of those decks that I think slays it for being a resort powder board that you can go hike the slack country with. It's one of those decks that really is more versatile than it would let you believe. Did someone say white powder? The only white powder you know about is some <sighs> detergent, because I'm gonna wash you and kill you. This board features DC's micro camber, which is a bit misleading with its name. Yes, it is a traditional camber, but there's a slight rocker in the nose. So when you load the camber up, the rocker engages and lifts up. It helps with powder riding, and you're still gonna get that snap and pop of traditional camber, but it's not so aggressive that you have to actively load it up to engage it. This board is available in regular sizes. The Super Natten is one of those boards that has a middle of the road powder flex to it. It's got slightly stiffer tips and then it softens up through the middle with a lot of torsional flex. You can really twist this board. Now, it is a lively deck, which means you're probably going to feel most of the vibrations, but it never bucked me. I never washed out, it never faltered. It really did do a good job of driving through the chunder and just making it through heavy snow and fresh light snow. As this board does have micro camber, there are two ways to get snap out of it. You can load it up and pop like you normally would with a traditional camber board. Or if you're going fast, you can be very skate-like with it and snap it at the last minute. The pop is very ample in this board. You're gonna notice that it has no problem sending cliff drops, cat track gaps, ollieing over bushes. You know, you're just gonna be able to pop with this board when you want to, and it's not an aggressive load, but it still has a lot of rebound and snap to it. It does take a little bit of effort to find the sweet spot of this board, but when you do, you can lock into butters with it with ease. This is a board that you do want to keep your weight over the tips just due to the flex pattern, but it's not an aggressive board that fights you when you're trying to press with it. You can butter with ease as long as you keep your weight over the board. It's just one of those decks that it knows where its flex points are, it knows where the sweet spot is, and you have to find them, and when you do, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be super stoked on it. This is a board you can rail tight turns with. You don't have to worry about it. So, you know, if you're out riding pow and you get on a groomer and you wanna rip a carp, send it. Just go for it. It engages its edge easily. It never fights you and it doesn't buck you. This is a board that you can drive and center flex. You can push off the tail. You can just get your weight wherever you want on the board and really manipulate the carves. It's super carvy, it's great. Actually, if anything, I would go ride a bank slalom with this board because it rips turns that way. So who is this board for? Well, it's a powder board, so it's definitely someone that's chasing pow, but someone that still has freestyle tendencies to it, someone that's gonna throw a back one into pow, or someone that's gonna throw a 360 over a tree gap. This is a sleeper pow board in my opinion. It's underrated. I think more people should be looking at it. I really do find this to be a very versatile POW board, and you can still ride a groomer with it when you need to. But here's the other decks that stack up to this board. The Arbor Clovis. The High Tide Powder. The Dinosaurs Will Die POW Reaper. The Signal Yup. The Yes, Pick Your Line. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're going to get, and you're going to decide where you're going to buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below? That way, you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way, you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification, and I'll see you guys in another video.